Hello everybody, this is John from USA Mundo. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome. Today I have another video for you guys on today's QA Friday, episode number 61. In this episode, as always, I'm gonna answer a question one of my subscribers sent me about USCIS forms. If you want to know something about that, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Mundo. Dexter Hall asked me this question on YouTube. Can I still use the form on USCIS site? It has expired and there is no update version. No, these are I-130, I-131, I-130A and does the I-130A take the place of the G-325A? Thank you. Hello Dexter and thanks for your question. First of all, this is not a legal advice, okay? So the question you sent me on YouTube is like you want to know if um, you still can use uh, uh, USCIS forms that are, that are already expired like I-130, I-131, I-130A and also you want to know if uh, I-130A really replaced uh, G325 for A. As you already know, if you're trying to um, uh, petition for your relative, you have to fill up form I-130. If you want to apply for a travel document, you have to fill up form uh, I-131. But uh, what happens is uh, those forms uh, has an, an expiration date, and uh, most of the time people wondering if they still can use those forms uh, when they expire. And this is uh, your question. Uh, one thing you have to know is that uh, when the form is when the form expires. Uh, it doesn't mean that like you cannot use it no more. As long as USCIS doesn't have uh, a new version of that form, you still can use uh, uh, that form. It's not a problem. Like you say, uh, I-130, I know it's already expired because I got a lot of questions about that. You still can use the form that is already expired. Uh, I-131, I didn't check that, but if it's expired, guess what? You still can use that form till the new version uh, comes out. And um, to talk about uh, G325, yes, I-130A now replace uh, G325A because G325A is no longer uh, uh, a requirement uh, when you uh, petition for your spouse because uh, as you as you know, uh, I-130 or G325 is about your spouse or biography. So uh, if you are filing for your wife right now, your spouse right now, yes you have to use i-130a so to answer your question basically even the uscis forms uh expire you still can use them till the new version comes out i hope i answer your question and once again thank you that's it for today's video i hope you guys love it learn something from it if you know somebody who needs to watch this video please share with that person if you like the video hit the like button if you want to see more video like this one all you gotta do is subscribe once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. USA Mundo.